phone call up to um, up to New Hampshire, and uh, I called. I called. I was trying to get a hold of a representative up there, and a lady answered the phone. Hello, State Capitol. I said, Yeah. Can you uh, put me through to Representative Dan Itza? And she said, Where are you calling from? I said, New York. She said, Yeah, we don't have offices in our state capital. I said. I New Hampshire uh, is, uh, they do things a little differently up in New Hampshire, and Dan Itza is here with us now. You really work from home. You don't have an, a, an office in the Capitol. I, I do have a drawer. <laughs> I love this. Okay. Well, we, so, we, go ahead. I can say we have a committee room, and I have a drawer in the committee room, and, and we share a, a secretary with another committee. This is fantastic. Okay, so Dan. You actually have drawn up a resolution because you and, and others like you say that the federal government is overstepping its bounds. Can you explain? I can, but first I want to say, Glenn, you are not alone. We've got your back, and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Yes, we have a resolution that says, thus far, no farther. It's a line in the sand to, keep, to tell the federal government that they are no longer allowed to transgress the Constitution, and if they do, then they're nullifying the Constitution. What, what, what was it that you say, you know, enough is enough? First of all, is New Hampshire going to take any of the spending, the, the stimulus money? I don't have control over that. Right now, the Democrats are in the majority, and uh, we're in a budget deficit. And I suspect well, that then, if anything comes our way, it's going to be snagged up. But... Um, so then, I mean, but they're, they're buying you off. I mean, you know, for instance... They're us with our own money. Right, right. Well, then the, the, that line in the sand doesn't really mean anything. What? Well, the, 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 the issues at hand are things like uh, declaring martial law or a state of emergency without the consent of that state's government. Uh, further encroachments on our right to bear arms, like uh, the Holt bill that's been folded into the uh, uh, stimulus package. Um, uh, involuntary servitude of those, you know, between 18 and 24. Uh, these are these are issues that are non-negotiable. Okay. All right. So you actually took this um, and and put this into a bill, and it's not your words. It's actually the words of James Madison and Thomas Jefferson, right? Absolutely. Well, it starts off with our own Constitution, which precedes that for the general government, and then the Ninth and Tenth Amendments, and then. Uh, uh, Jefferson's Kentucky resolutions from 1798, where he says that uh, we're not bound by unlimited submission to the general government by a compact, the Constitution. Okay, then now, the, this is what this is. I find this so fascinating because I read the founding fathers. I know what they believe, and there, it makes no sense that you couldn't back out of the Union if they started trampling on those rights. It, it would only make sense, and that's what those resolution that those two men drafted, and you drafted for your state, but. Everyone will tell you, you can't do that. The union is the union. Well, this isn't about withdrawing from the union. First of all, the, the happiest resolution of this resolution would be a renewed union within the confines of the Constitution. But if the general government uh, nullifies the Constitution, how do you withdraw from something that doesn't exist? <laughs> You're playing word games. I like them, but you're playing word games here. Okay, uh, here's the most interesting uh, fact. You're not alone in this. How many states? No. How many states have this resolution based on Jefferson and Madison pending in legislatures all across the country? Last week there were eight states, including ours, with some sort of sovereignty re resolution. This week there are 20. So there's an additional 12 in the That's last unbelievable. week. Unbelievable. That's truly unbelievable. Uh, uh, Dan, it's just caught fire across the nation. I, I bet it has, for good reason. Dan, thank you very much. By the way, I think you are at your, can you put them back up on the screen? I believe you are at your legal limit of buttons on the lapel. I'm just, uh, I'm just. Uh, there are those that have more. <laughs> and, and I want to say, yeah, but there are New Hampshire is the home of the free state, and go to nhliberty.org to see the resolution. All right, thank you very much, Dan, appreciate it. All right, there are 